hi uh, in this video tutorial today i'll discuss what is slowly changing dimension in the data warehouse so also we'll discuss type of slowly changing dimension and it's uh, how to implement and using informatica in this session i'll develop scd type 1 manually but in future i'll uh, walk through like uh, step by step process how to create and so before moving forward we have we need to know uh, the how it's work and why we need to implement this for example uh, you have an online retail domain and you want to keep the customer contact information into your data warehouse but customer may moving one country to another country and obviously his city got changed so address got changed so uh, those information slowly need to be updated into the data warehouse so that we'll uh, discuss here and also i'll uh, show like scd type 1 how it is work so scd type 1 this methodology is used to override the old value if data no need to keep historical record normally is to replace a value to the customer table for example a customer name has a spell mistake or customer moves to another city so those information we can keep into the uh, data warehouse using scd type 1 so here is an example uh, i have like before uh, changing the information as you see this customer uh, city in new york, new york so after changing it's got like i just random name i put here king's city so in the us so let's implement this uh, scd type 1 using informatica so before uh, that using that i have one uh, customized like how to create uh, menu instead of manually how to develop so actually in fact scd is the combination of different type of transformation so i have an example here let's say this is i uh, have to identify the source first then uh, customer table then source qualifier then we have to look up create a lookup table uh, that uh, the record wire need to be updated so those combination and then uh, we have to map what are the information need to be changed those are like okay here for example i want to change the city information so, so city like here target city so that city information so i had another transformation call uh, expression term uh, transformation so that and uh, after creating that transformation we need to make sure how data divert to the target so for that i have to create one router trans transformation and then for example when i creating one like a surrogate key so how i need to generate that value so for that i need to create one sequence and then i have to uh, create update dimension what uh, what is that any what we need to be updated so those thing is come and then and we have to link those column and after that we have to run this and uh, then we'll see the data uh, loaded successfully so it's uh, sometime as a tester maybe we have to make sure it is uh, loading it is like you know uh, not rejecting any data so those thing as a tester we have to make sure anyway uh, we'll create one uh, here uh, simple transformation using uh, like that manual option 
here is that manual option wizard then slowly changing dimension so before uh, doing that let's see uh, what data we have in our source table so i have that source already let me uh, check this is the, we'll use this source table customer DB source customer. So this customer source table will use. Let's see preview the data. So it's in actually the source table is this one. So let's see. So we have two record here. The two customer information. One is Robert Robbins and Siam Nizer. So his city is one MZ. And now is BKL. I just put the uh, random name here. And so now we change this city name as uh, like Armo, and then we'll um, let's see that record uh, like reflecting to the target table. So using uh, manual option. Let's say uh, we are creating one uh, mapping first. Slowly, how okay, wizard then slowly changing dimension. See here is type one dimension key most recent value in targets. So, as I explained here, so most recent value is uh, let me see more recent value here it was nyc now more recent value is kings so let's do like that way we'll do like some is uh, let's run this so here is i put the mapping name um, dim SCD T1. So I have, I think, a duplicate. I'll do here. Past uh, Thomas. Okay. So next, then the C select source table. So I have to. I have a lot of source of my. So stable is this one. So now let me keep my target table name. So I'll keep the target target table name TZ Dim SCD T1. So next. See here we have to make sure say the logical key fields and field to compare for change so here we have to make sure which one we need to be changed so i want to change the city name so i'm keeping here and all other information i'll keep in logical key here then finish as you see it's create automatically all transformation like lookup and like expression trans transformation filter update strategy and see target definition so all our information is creating automatically higher so actually uh, in real time it is more you have to create all yourself and so as a tester we are not already about the, this but i'm just uh, focusing on uh, how it's working and that's actually my target to show so now let's uh, we have to create the target table so what target table like if you're i think team this one team uh cost 
SCD T1. So no, I think I keep this one TZ. So let's uh, go to the design target designer. See so then let's uh, clear this from workspace and bring this one. Now we have to create that table, otherwise we are not able to load the data. So let's see how to create this. Go to target, generate, then generate the script script and we have to connect to the database db target. connected okay as you see here is processed successfully now we can close it so we can validate our map again so it is valid or not see it is valid so now we have to create the actually as a tester mostly uh, we'll be working in monitoring our uh, site so let's uh, create workflow designer for that map okay now here is a workflow create new workflow WF CSDT1. I think I want to put here new name. I have something there, maybe test. Okay. So, okay, then I have to create a task for this. Okay. First, CD T1 test task created. So now we have to make sure which one our recent mapping. I think this one we did. Okay. Done. Now I have to link and then save it. So now we have another thing uh, mapping object we have to make sure and see as you see here source is coming from source database say source db. So then target we have to make sure it sh should connect to the target database then another we have update transformation so this one we have to connect to the target database then look up we have to make sure here see we have to look up because we are looking where we need to be update so we need we are updating into the our target database so that we have to make sure here apply then okay again save now we can run so before running we are we can verify any data is loaded in this target table see preview the data and then Invalid password. See, it should be target and then target. Then connect. See, there is no record here. 
so after running hope we'll get some record here so start task now as a tester this is our job to monitoring the data actually how it is loading where where it is loading it is any rejecting any information that is successfully loaded so those information to validate we have to go here first see the get run properties here as you see already source there is a two success and target also two success so that means because we had only two record and also here we can see all other information here so applied how many row affected how many rows so those actually daily job as a tester we have to make sure everything goes as our expected according to the business rule so now see if you click here then you'll see the two record already added here now what we have to do let's update this information for cm measure the city we are changing it to uh, armo so and also you see here in the update is there any record is showing see there is also two record so okay now we'll update into the database level uh, our database is here in fact okay Okay, here is our database. Okay. Select master from C. So now we'll update the city. So uh, let's update this update. See, after updating, we have to commit this, otherwise, it will not reflect. So, okay, now we can run and see how data has got changed there. See, so have to run this again. Workflow. To refresh and then run okay let's monitor so it's running and you see one effect a flight and affected so let's see why it is affected see target success from one that means whatever the change we made it is reflected into the target let's say see armor that means so any change into the OLTP system so the batch process whatever the running behind so that batch process extracting the newly change and updating to the data warehouse so that is the actually main thing and it is actually simple one record there is a huge record 
and that we have to uh, actually work on and make sure all data is reflecting so a lot of job in behind so it, it is just high level for scd type one uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and i will show x video scd type 2 and scd type 3 in addition in future i will show how to create step by step scd type 1 and 2 and 3 thanks thanks for watching